never thought this would happen, Nico. I never fucking thought it. Kate, sweet, innocent Katie. I'm sorry, Peggy. I was there. I tried to stop it. She didn't do nothing to nobody. It was those McCreary men who were the sinners. We're paying for that ourselves. She didn't have to pay, too. She didn't, Peggy. You're right. I gotta be with me, my Nico. She don't got much left other than me, and that ain't much. See you, man. It's enough. See you, man. Hey, Nico, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How's married life? It's okay. Hard to be happy when your wedding goes the way ours did. Kate's death was very unfortunate. Nico, don't blame yourself. There's no one else to blame, Roman. It's my fault, because I refused to do that deal for Pecorino. It's my fault because I got close to her. I shouldn't get close to anyone. You should, Nico. Stay close to Mallory and me. We are your family. Mallory is pregnant. If it's a girl, we'll call it Kate. Congratulations, Roman. You'll make a good father. See you soon. He didn't leave us, Brucey. He was taken away and he ain't coming back. And on his fucking wedding day, man. I learned so much from him, man, about life and shit and important stuff like that, you know? It's so wrong, so fucking wrong. I know, Brucey. Believe me, I know. Later on. The man who got Roman killed is dead. That won't bring him back, will it? He'll never even meet his son. Son? I'm pregnant. We were gonna say something at the reception. Your child will never worry about anything, Mallory. Thank you, Nico. I know you're trying, but a child without a father has a lot to worry about. Trust me on that one. Nico, I am so sorry. So am I. If you want to talk about it, if you want anything, Nico, if you just want company, call me. I want Roman back. Don't let this ruin you, Nico. Don't let this make you even more insular and angry. Please, call me and we can do something. I might do that. There are more important things to be doing now, though. So this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. You see, we got a set of codes that mean you can't keep on like nothing's happened after brothers turn on brothers and your world turns to shit. I my, a man of principle. Impressive, Clements. You must find Liberty City an awful place to live. Such a shame your values are more suited to medieval times. Yeah, well, I'd prefer to stand up for something than to chop and change and stab a friend in the back to get ahead. That's why I didn't become a politician. So long, sport. I didn't think I'd call you. You hear about Billy? Yeah, I heard. Look, Johnny. Look, have you got any money? I need 40 bucks. I need it real bad, baby. Not this time. You can kill yourself on your own. Goodbye, Ash. Angus, man. Chapter President. 
I'm president of a burnout house and some broken ass brothers. It's dead, man. It's over. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll probably keep sending money to Jim's old lady and her kid. I owe him that. We all do. Beyond that, I'll probably try to cut my ties. What about Ashley? Ashley? The ice got her good. I finally cut her loose in my head, man. I don't know what's left for her other than that need to fuck up everything around her. You've been a good friend, Angus. You're a good man, Johnny. Things should have worked out better for you. Well, things should be better for a whole heap of people. It don't work out that way, do it. Adios, amigo. I love you, hijo. 